Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have the festival of football team of the match day number one team that we're going to be just looking through we're going to be seeing how much these cards are and we're going to be showing you guys the in-game stats and all that stuff we are back on regular fit for the first time in a while these cards look incredible these cards look actually really really cool shout out to ea for releasing these um they look like very cool cards to use and they have gotten a huge huge upgrade so yeah man let's go take a look if you guys haven't already turn your notifications on and drop a like on the video i would really appreciate it as always i do upload every single day and we are now one oh wait no, not one day away we are two days away from our um year of straight uploading not missing a single day which is crazy right now i believe the matches for uruguay have already happened so uruguay already qualified and saudi arabia is disqualified and then portugal did beat morocco one nil from a cristiano ronaldo goal so hopefully we get a cr7 upgrade as you guys did see i packed cr7 in world cup mode yesterday so go check that out if you haven't already and then the iran versus spain game started 20 minutes ago and that is happening in this happening right now so yeah we're we're gonna actually get into this right now let's go so to start off with the starting 11 we do have um striker cr7 of course he scored a hat trick against spain i'm doing this all the top off the top of my head so if i kind of get confused or something i i apologize so we have striker cr7 do we have any on the market right now yes we do we have two uh, cr7 on the market look how nice those cards look man they look so so good and we have um cholera right here serbian cholera of course he's around 130 000 coins that's a fantastic card by the way um as a super or seven that is a left back but as a left back he probably could still be viable with 84 pace he actually got this card because he scored a free kick against uh costa rica which was a fantastic free kick which got them the three points then we have dennis cherishev who scored two goals i believe it was in the opening match against saudi arabia and he also scored again yesterday so that's cool he has three goals now um was tied for top score but now cr7 took that back with another goal today Thirty-five thousand coins he is looking like um not the greatest of cards just because he's three star three star and apart from that he's a decent card nothing too crazy um then we have felipe coutinho 92 rated center midfield he plays center mid for brazil um as they do have to squeeze him in somehow and he does play as a bit of a more attacking role he's scored a finesse shot a fantastic goal in brazil's 1-1 draw against switzerland which was a very very beautiful goal we have uh jose maria jimenez right here um 100 100 000 coins around there not a bad card i mean actually a very decent card um yeah that's a fantastic card in my opinion he gets a perfect link with team of the season godin uh strong links to another to a bunch of other players but yeah overall great card and he got this because he scored the winning goal for Uruguay against Egypt. I believe it was in, in, the, in their opening game for Group A the day after. So that was like last Friday, I believe it was. Then we have Isco, who is the same rating as his team of the season, which is cool that they did that. Um, has the exact same stats as well. He's around 160,000 coins. So if you so if you have the path to glory, Isco, your path to glory got upgraded to a 95 rated card, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, this card's around 160. A very good card for a left winger. Um, um, just lacks the pace, I guess you could say. So you could throw him at left wing and then convert him into the middle. But he got this for playing very, very well um, for Spain. I believe it was in the 3-3 draw against Portugal. We played a fantastic one of the best players for them. Lukaku got this for scoring a brace in um, Belgium's, what was it? In Belgium, 3-0 win against Panama in their opening game. A very, very convincing performance from them. And then we have Harry Kane who saved England. I mean, this is his team of the season night. Uh, it's it's the exact same rating i guess i could say um or not i guess i could say i know it's the exact same rate wait is it i put the 94 one in why is the 95 one in here yeah this one right here 170,000 coins for this card he got this for scoring a brace against uh england played against tunisia there we go scored a brace against tunisia um saved the three points for england in the final minutes polson got this card not a very good card to be completely honest i mean just pace and physical and he's super tall but apart from that three star three star not too great um he got this for scoring the winning goal against peru probably one of the most one of the biggest like i, I wouldn't say undeserved but at the same time it wasn't deserved i mean i guess you can say i'm kind of salty because i'm peruvian but 
At the same time, I, I thought Peru deserved a bit, bit more from that game. You know, just at least, at least a draw, but Denmark converted the chances, their chances, so props to them. Next up, we have the disgusting one himself, the disgusting man himself. We have Lozano, 4 star, 4 star, 99 pace, 400,000 coins. We all know why he got this scored a goal, scored the winning and only goal in the 1 0 win for Mexico over Germany. Then we have Finn Bogason, who scored um, a goal against Argentina to keep them. Um, alive in the group basically a huge point for Iceland um, in their 1-1 draw for them then we have Aaron Moy who was fantastic I guess um, I, to be completely honest I didn't watch the game for Australia in their 2-1 loss to France just a very very narrow loss so I can see why he's in here um, but to be completely honest I'm not too sure why they included him you know I didn't really watch the, the game and there's no French players in here either which kind of shows how not very well they played um, I don't know how to really say it, so I'm just gonna go with the no, not very well. Um, then we have Grankvist, a 90 rated center back who actually looks decent and usable. 99 penalties, which is funny, 95 shot power, 95 reactions, and 97 composure. Not a bad card now, um, uh, but yeah, just a bad league to be completely honest. Um, but a score, of course, scored the winning goal for Sweden against I don't know who I, I I can't think of think of it of the off the top of my head but he scored the winning penalty uh for Sweden against was it Korea I, I'm pretty sure it was Korea Republic yeah against Korea um so yeah props to him great penalty taker I guess now uh Gallardo for Mexico actually played very 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 well for Mexico I was very impressed with this kid is he a kid yeah, kind of a kid, I guess you can say. Uh, he's four years older than me, so he is... Uh, no, he's six years older than me, which means he is 23, which, yeah, he's... He, for, for, yeah, he, that's a kid. Uh, 22,000 coins right here for this card. Not the greatest of cards, but of course, played very well in Mexico's uh, win against Germany. Props to them. And then we have Haldorson. Haldorson. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, 20,000 coins for this guy, the Iceland goalkeeper from Alka Super League. And no one's really going to use him unless you have icons. And even if you have icons, why would you use him? Because you can afford better goalkeepers for 20,000 coins. Six foot four, decent card. Uh, played very well in Iceland's draw against Argentina. Very, very important win for them. And we have Galvin, who scored a fantastic free kick and got two assists in their opening game. We already have seen this card in the regular foot mode or in the, in the World Cup mode, I should say. And then we have Jan Sommer, who played very well. Well, in Switzerland's 1-0, 1-1 draw, sorry, against Brazil, uh, saved them a couple times towards the end of the game. So yeah, guys, this is where I will end the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. These are very, very cool cards, and I think I'm going to try and qualify for weekend league this weekend because they removed the requirements for one nation, and if you look at my team that I have right now, um, that I'm probably going to be playing with, it's right here, MLS goals. Um, it's actually not MLS goals anymore, but it used to be. This is the team that I have and this team is going to be incredible if I do get it to play as it should. We have CR7, we have Lozano, uh, we have Fernandinho, and we have Arias, and uh, Jordi Alba at left back with Cavani coming off the bench, cool Bali, Mares, Perlo, Zaha, Willian, it's just going to be a fun time, and I am actually kind of excited to get back into weekend league and regular foot mode, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new cards in foot, are you guys going to start playing it again, are you guys going to hop back onto foot and try and grind some packs uh, to try and see if you can pack them, I definitely am, I hope you guys do too, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.